good afternoon to you, to our viewers across the country and beyond. Welcome to the grand finale of the Women's FA Cup. Once again, it's another final that involves the two finalists of the Women's Premier League. And it's between Hazakas ladies who will be facing it up once again against Ampem Dakwan ladies. I am Esther Abankwa. I will be your commentator for the day. I'm here together with... I share to Zachary Ali. Esther is good to hear. Another final involving the two teams that we have covered last week, Saturday. The interesting part is that today is no rainy. So let's see what will happen. There were two teams involved. Hazakes ladies as well as Ampem Dakwan ladies. Oh. And Pemdakwa ladies in your shorts, Nana Adakwa, who had his tactics wrong last weekend, and we'll be hoping to get his tactics right this time around for this grand finale of the Women's FA Cup. And Aisha, last weekend we had an avalanche of goals. Do you think we are going to have a similar thing this weekend as well? Yes, I doubt, because after the game I spoke to uh, Coach John Nana Adakwa, he mentioned that his players let him down because of the fact that if you look at the goals they conceded, was through set pieces. So he said they are going to work on this. And but who walks home with the bragging right as the side that is indeed the stronger one so far as women football is concerned and the referee has whistled for everything to begin here at the Accra Sports Stadium. Who goes home with the trophy? It's the Women's FA Cup and if, in case you just tuned in, you are watching the grand finale of the Women's FA Cup. Grace Bamwa will be in post for them. Queen Bell, as well as Janet Tejiri and Regina Entry are expected to marshal the defense of Hazakes ladies. It's an advantage in favor of Ampem Dakwa ladies, but they couldn't uh, utilize it once again. It's a set piece that Hazakes ladies are trying to ensure that they mount an attack on the defense of Ampim Dakwa ladies. Hazakes ladies who's also trying to make sure that the ball doesn't pass by them. It has been great so far. Uh, my only disappointment will be with Hazakes ladies. Set pieces like this, good advantage like this, that you have somebody, you need somebody who is fast. Every player will always seem to be late to the party. And uh, it was no other person than Doris Bwedual who drew in when was trying to locate Veronica Apia. But however, Hazakes ladies man and Pemdakwa ladies managed to clear it off from their defense. Doreen Copson had taken in the ball, but the referee has whistled for an advantage in favor of Pemdakwa ladies. It's a ding on affair in the heart of Midfield. Sonia Opoku tries to get the ball, but she's now down. It's a counter-attack on the other side for Hazakas ladies who managed to find the back of the net. And it is no other person than Doris Bwedua. Not the women's woman. This is a wonderful... Listen, the goalkeeper was out because the defenders were actually running Doris Bwedua. Nobody was going to attack it. The point was that Hazakes ladies. Sonia Opoku with the ball there and she eh, she has managed to skip the attack of Azuma Bugri, releases the ball and she Mavis Obusu tried to go for the goal. Ampem Dakwa ladies are still probing, trying to get the equalizer in the first half, but it has been cleared off. Well, um, I, I, I don't know what, uh, okay, so the coach is actually complaining about this attack from Regina, no, from uh, Aguguri to on, on, on his uh, striker. He seems not to be happy with the referee decision there. But then, who said from uh, Grace Bamba? Comfort Ousua, who was trying to mount that attack. The ball is now in the heart of midfield. Janet Ejiri there with the ball. And from the quality, are trying to get the equalizer. But so also couldn't get there on time to actually just step in and then push a little bit. Push would have scored and then I mean, would have been a one one. The black princesses they play together, so they know each other. So it's not surprising that whenever you see a foul against Evelyn Baby, it's Peterson an advantage. Well, 
It's an advantage. Will they be able to get the second goal? And she does. What a goal! What a goal! My Lord Opokuwa. My Lord Opokuwa, her second goal in the women's FA Cup so far. Second goal for her, second goal for Hazakes ladies today. Excellent. I like the level of her confidence. She was so confident enough to know that she could have bypassed the defender, bypassed the goalkeeper, and score. And finally, the referee has whistled, and it's the grand finale of the Women's FA Cup. You're watching it live on Max TV Ghana. It's Hazakes ladies who are leading by two goals to zero. It's a live coverage coming to you from the screens of Max TV Ghana. They have made it possible. The first half ended with a two goal advantage in favor of Hazakes ladies. And Pemdakwa ladies have begun the second half with a certain turns of energy trying to make amends for the two goals that they considered in the first half. The grand finale of the Women's FA Cup Live on Max TV Ghana and Pim Dakwa ladies keep making changes to ensure that they get good results. It was a very good effort over there. It is now we are into the dying embers of the game world. They be able to get a consolation and the referee whistles for an offside. It's been a pulsating second half, however, the referee has whistled. And it ends here at the Akraspo Stadium. Coach Yusif Bazigi once again proves to everybody that he is a coach that really knows what he's up to.